So my mom really likes to play cribbage and a lot of times we play together. So for her birthday this year, I thought it'd be fun to make her a cribbage board. I have some walnut and mahogany scraps that I'm going to be using and I picked up this Rockler jig that will help me drill all of the holes in the right spot. So let's get started. I started by getting one flat edge on my walnut piece. Then I use that flat edge against the fence to square up the bottom. I cut it into one inch strips. Using the walnut and three one quarter inch strips of mahogany and walnut that I had left over from another project, I arranged them how I thought they looked best. I laid down parchment paper to keep the wood from sticking to the workbench and applied wood glue. Once the glue had dried overnight, I took it to the planer to flatten it. I cut off the excess and made two 10 and 1 half inch pieces. I made one mistake on the end pegs that I will go over in the end. Using the pegs that came with the jig worked really well to hold the jig in place. One thing I wanted to note was that the bit did get a bit jammed with the wood and I'd have to stop every once in a while and unclear it so that it would close properly. But I don't think this is necessarily anything wrong with this jig or this bit. I think it's just something that's gonna happen when you're using hardwoods and drilling into it like this. I'm not sure if it's because I went too fast or let the drill get too hot, but I had a lot of tear out that I wasn't happy with. 
I cut off the excess on the edges, making the boards 4 inches wide. As much as I hated to, I took the boards back to the planer to cut them down to just enough to remove the tear out. I then re-drilled with the jig, but since the holes were already drilled, it did not tear out this time. Using a 1 8 inch roundover bit, I rounded the edges. I sanded up to 600 grit. To protect the boards, I applied three coats of Wipe-On Poly. So the one mistake I made with this board is there are six starter pegs over here and over here on this side there should just be one for the finished peg. So when you come around you go into just one hole. So when you make it, just don't make it with these holes at the end. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future builds.